When I first heard about concrete and the claims that it was as strong as concrete and could be used to build a giant ship, I was skeptical. Much like the Canadian engineers and scientists must have thought back in '43, they've got to be crazy. I've decided to make some blocks of concrete for myself and perform my own tests, like they did back then. I use a formula they tested, which is 10% ground wood pulp from a local paper mill mixed into water. I make some regular ice as well. In a few days, it'll all be frozen solid, and we'll see for ourselves what pycrete is all about. How will Mike Fletcher's pycrete mixture measure? Excuse up? me. Are you Rick? Yes, I am. I'm Mike. Hi, Mike. Pleased to meet you. I'm here to smash some pycrete. Mike meets with Rick Dunn at the Bull Meadow Rifle Range so, there we to go. perform his own battery of tests. So ice first. Ice first. Whoa! It disappeared. It's gone. <laughs> so is that what we're going to do with the pycrete now? That's what we'll do the pycrete and see the test result. Okay. To admit, I'm impressed. What a difference! How incredibly strong concrete is. Now that didn't do nearly as much. And how simple it is to make. As it melts, the outer layer softens and creates its own insulation, lucky keeping break the there. rest of it frozen. Well, it's not going to go easily. Might have to shoot it with the shotgun to get it apart. <laughs> I'm starting to think there may actually be something about this crazy scheme of building a ship. Not of ice, but of pie cream.